Autodesk has introduced the new Autodesk 2022 software. And with that, they've also introduced new ways to install the software. Now, we're going to take a look at AutoCAD Electrical and how to install that. So with 2021, what we do is we install um, AutoCAD Electrical and you're able to configure everything. So you'll be able to configure, you know, what, um, what standards you want or from what companies, what symbols you want to get from, for ABB, um, Telemechanique. Uh, you've got or Eaton, then you've got um, also what standards you want. So IEC, IEEE, JIS, uh, NFPA. So NFP, FBA, FDA. So what we've got over here now, you don't have that anymore in the 2022 installation. So if you had to just download the software from Ava or your um, or your Autodesk account without configuring it, what would happen is you would just install everything, and you know then you'd have to you know sort of struggle to um, you know. You wouldn't have a default standard that you, when you create a new project, at what would it default to. So what we've got is everything now is configured within your Autodesk account. So what we do is we go and you sign into your Autodesk account, and from there we actually go download an executable uh, which has got the configuration in it. So once we've gotten into our our, um, our Autodesk account, we can go to our products and services and from the products and services over here uh, we will go and configure the installation so a notice should pop up over here now which says great customize installs before downloading and i'm going to say it's going to go click on got it over here and on the left over here you can see there i've got my custom install so select custom install and what it's going to do is it's going to allow us to select the different software that we've got on our Autodesk account. Once we've clicked on the custom install, you'll see there we have the option to choose the license type. So now, um, as you are well aware, the network licenses has kind of disappeared. We don't sell that anymore. Autodesk doesn't sell that anymore. So we're going to do the Autodesk ID. So Autodesk ID, and then from here, we're going to go and choose the and from over here, then we're going to choose the AutoCAD electrical um, installation. So I wanted to show you how this works. So once you've chosen that, um, it's then going to give you the different configurations that you've got on, um, you know, in the Autodesk account. Uh, very much similar to if you've created a deployment um, in the old multi-use or network licenses. And if you do want to, you can go and choose uh, more than the electrical over here. Okay, so look, it just seems that it hasn't worked. Okay, so there we go. AutoCAD Electrical. Um, you can choose the language that you want. It's the latest version. And then you've got your customizations and your extensions. Now, if I go to customizations, um, if you know AutoCAD Electrical, you can link it up to Microsoft SQL, um, you know, with your catalog database, your footprint database. And here's the important part. So the symbol libraries that you need to install. So now I would like to do my, I don't want a GB or AS. Um, IEC, I, you know, 6617, IEEE, I don't need JIS and I don't need NFPA. It'll ask you where the symbol libraries are going to be located. And then if you are going to do shared libraries, you'll see where those shared libraries as well. And you can put in the location over there. Now, also very important, the default drawing standard. So this is something that um, if you just, you know, download from either Avo, you download the installation files from your Autodesk account and install, it will naturally gravitate to the NFPA standards, which if you are in South Africa, you don't want. You want your IEC standard. So I'm going to choose that over there. And I'm going to leave all the, the rest of this as default. So you've got your default profile, ACAD-E, security for anything that you um, um, sort of install, any programs or list routines, um, express tools, online resources, uh, and then if you want customer error reporting, allow you to receive notifications, you can turn that on or off, and then also create a desktop shortcut over there. And then you've got your extensions. So these extensions over here, if you just had to install, as I said, from a downloaded file from, from your uh, from the internet, Ava, or your Autodesk account, without going through this custom install, uh, this extension is what pops up and it gives you the option to do that content migration utility for AutoCAD Electrical and your AutoCAD performance reporting tool. Okay, I'm going to leave those off. So once this is done, we can go back up over here and click on Next. And with that, um, you can either install immediately 
or what you can do is you can deploy it. Okay, so if I click, click on install, I agree, click on create installer, and it goes on that. And then uh, you can just give it a, a installer name, so maybe AKE, um, and then installation path will be C program files Autodesk. Okay, or you can do a deployment. So with the deployment, what you can do is you can download downloads an exe, um, and then you go run it. It downloads the the uh, deployment files, and then you can then go and send it off to you know you can deploy it around your um, around your organization. Um, so deployment image path. Uh, let's just go to my let's go C drive uh, backslash Autodesk. Okay, is it backslash? Okay, there we go. Um, that's gonna find, that's fine. And I agree and create deployment. So what that does is it downloads an EXE. Okay, so once I've done that, create my deployment, it downloads a .exe, and we are ready to deploy to other machines. Thanks very much for watching.